Hello everybody. Yes, it's that time of the year again when we start getting ready for the International Children's Convention and where we have the poetry, we have art, we have the Waltham Children's Business Fair. Like we got everything in there. So today I am bringing you an interview from one of our contest poetry contest winners uh, from this year and guys when I say this girl is great with her words she's amazing yeah and um, so I would, I'm gonna include her the link to her poem in this video and please go ahead and listen to the interview we had together learn more about her and I just hope that you also find a way to get your kids involved in next year's event because we'll be opening up applications very soon. I'm looking forward to working with you all. Can you please tell us about yourself? Who are you? Where are you from? My name is Natra Lailin and I'm nine years old. Yes. My school is... Penya Primary School, and I live in Zana. Awesome. So you got to um, be a part of a contest that didn't have only kids from Uganda, but from all over the world. And it was amazing to have you as one of the winners. So you brought one of the best poems in your category. That's five to ten. And... But you were so good. Like, it's so hard for somebody to believe you're a nine-year-old. The way you composed and all that stuff makes me feel like, she really nine? So where do you draw your inspiration from? Like, who of the different, like, poets that you have maybe, whose poems you have read or people that you've met, who of them speaks to you? Like, where do you get your inspiration from? Um, at the moment, mm. I have none because mm. I pick ideas from different poets. Have you ever like recited any of your poems in front of like big audiences, and or is do you just like participate in like contests and just send them on? Yeah, at school. Yeah, and at church. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. That's a good place. Those are good places to start. But like, so I have met kids that are good when it comes to poetry, but they are shy. Like, they will want. They just want to write something and then keep it somewhere or send it out for someone else to read. So how do you deal with stage fright? Like, where do you get that confidence from? Okay, like, it's just my nature. That's how it's created. Aww. I talk to big audiences. That's awesome. So you are generally a confident girl, right? Yeah. So I pray that you keep that up. Um, let okay. nothing ever change you, okay? Keep your head high. Yeah. yeah. And I would say your poem was a very good poem. It was a well-written poem. But if you were talking to somebody that didn't know so much about poems and you wanted to, like, guide them on how a well, on what a well-written poem should have, um, what would you say, what would you tell them? Like, like sometimes you need to think. Okay. Look at the surroundings. Okay. So you would say um, pick inspiration from what is around you? Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, so which of the poems... Um, that you have written because I've only listened to one so far but 
talking to your parents, I have realized that you haven't written only one poem. You got so many in there. And um, so which one would be your favorite, like from the ones you've written so far? So first, mm. um, Uganda's Beauty. Uganda's Beauty. And is that the one that you submitted to the contest? Yeah. It was a really, really good poem. I am going to make sure that I include the link to your poem in this video because I would want everybody to hear about it and probably visit Uganda too because you did a great job on describe, in describing how amazing Uganda is. Um, do you like reading? Yes, of course. You do? Yeah. What are yeah. some of the books that you're reading like right now? What are your favorite right books? Yeah. Right now, I read Mausa's Cotton Plant. Awesome. You love it? Yeah. At the moment, mm -hmm. I read many books, but sometimes mm -hmm. I forget the authors. So what have your achievements in poetry been so far? Like, all right, so let's say you won the the award in this particular contest in the International Children's Art Stroke Poetry Contest that is organized by Mamai. But what have been your other achievements? Okay. Mm -hmm. I have some in poetry. I got mm -hmm. some money yes. and an international medal. Awesome. So have um I think you're forgetting something. You have participated in a couple more, but like do you want to tell us what you won or what you got out of that? Because those are amazing achievements and I would want you to share with us that way probably your story is going to encourage other kids to be like oh my god I can write a poem if she did this and got mm -hmm. something from the commonwealth <laughs> oh that wasn't a, that yeah. wasn't a poem right that was an essay it's a competition wow that's awesome I'm really proud of you and um I hope you do not um, stop here. Um, if you were to give ad advice to kids your age about, let's say, writing, reading, poetry, what what would you tell them? Um, to use their talent more better. Awesome, awesome. And um, when you say that. Um, it it just reminds me of something like you're going to find somebody that loves to maybe write and they never think of getting into contests and all that stuff and yet like what you did was amazing Um, you did not only join a contest but you gave it your your whole heart and you were sharing about your country and you were able to get to so many people. And like this year we had 400 participants. So all those other different participants, even the ones that were in the art contest were checking out the poems you get. So you find somebody in the Philippines looking at uh, or listening to your poem and learning about Uganda. Then the next year, they're going to want to also tell the world about their country. So it's all about inspiring each other. And like I said, I'm proud of you. And I know so many other people are and keep doing what you do and you're going to get really far, okay? So just think of ways that you can um, you can uh, get your poems out there into the world and how you can 
um, like share different messages or things that you care about through the work that you do, okay? Yeah. Okay. So um, what would you, what else would you want to tell us about you? Like, so we're done with the poetry part. Like, what else do you do besides writing? <laughs> writing, skateboarding. You skateboard? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. I have tried that so many times, but it doesn't work for me. 